I love that. An ad came on the television just the other day detailing the symptoms of another new condition. Another new condition we're not supposed to have. Another way of behaving that doesn't fit the social order. Another method of feeling that somehow needs a cure. They called it generalized anxiety disorder. And I, I know, but I thought myself, why, why would any sane, rational, or compassionate individual be feeling anxious living in this world day to day? <laughs> I mean, come on. As we speak, butterflies are fucking on the fingertips of warheads, triggering conflicts on the other side of the world, with each fever thrust of tiny butterfly cock. <laughs> Some crazy fuck blows himself up and 50 others in futile desperation. I knew it! Beauty is so obviously the cause of our death and destruction, so blatantly guilty of our woes and dismay that there's nothing to worry about. It's being looked after. Good! With every moment of every hour of every day, beauty is slowly being abolished. Babies are being born so broken that even pedophiles refuse to touch them. Sunflowers are painting cancer with Van Gogh's severed ear. And rainbows are beating black eyes on the faces of single parents while a full moon sits in silence weeping HIV. And yes, I've been doing my part, doing my part, feeling so insecure and ugly I can't work up the courage to talk to you sober. Because your eyes can see everything inside me that I'm ashamed of. And so I sit face down in my drink, punishing myself with the prospects of what it would have been like getting to know you. And to finally understand that your God's meager hands are battered and scarred from the broken pieces of his heart that he took the time to mend and personally smooth over. And it's the knowledge of this gift that would grant me the power to finally open up my heart and trust you. You're lucky. I know. What? <laughs> but, I've just felt the room shudder. Oh, no. From the south side of the equator, a butterfly's orgasm is working things up. And I can see on your face what this world can do to someone who tries to love it. How it can beat them and tell them to falter. Well, I will not join in that chorus. I will strive for beauty even if it kills us and turn our hearts into an army of ecstatic bagpipes and squeeze until the songs of our lives are well spent. And in the quiet moments in between the breasts of our deaths and creations, I will honor you with the silence. By never asking for the promises that will make you out a liar. You are too beautiful for